With the LEGO Star Wars UCS Venator and Holiday Diorama releasing on October 1st, that will be every LEGO Star Wars 2023 set, which leads us right into 2024 sets. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the most up-to-date as of mid-September LEGO Star Wars 2024 set rumors in release date order. So on January 1st, we could have up to five sets that we know of, the 30680AAT Polybag, and technically this one isn't confirmed for January 1st, it's a little bit more in the open whether or not it will actually be January 1st or not, but it it should be a tan AAT polybag, given that some other sets later in the list are going to be episode one themed. I would assume this one's going to be episode one themed as well. We can expect it to cost just $5 alongside, for the first time in a long time, a second LEGO Star Wars polybag for a year, 30685. It's unknown when it will be, probably based off the skeleton crew and the bigger skeleton crew ship, but we just don't know. We have set number 75373 up next, the most hyped set of the first half of 2024 by far, Clone Troopers versus versus Battle Droids Battle Pack. This one is supposed to include three regular Phase 2 Clone Troopers and one Shock Trooper as your normal minifigures. The Clone Troopers are very exciting. Of course, if you know me, it hinges on one thing, whether or not these are going to be good figures or bad figures, and whether or not I'm going to buy two or three of the set or a hundred of the set. But on the Clone Trooper side of things, we're supposed to get a speeder bike that has the ability to seat up to two Clone Troopers and a defensive post, so we could see some builds very similar to what we saw in the original Clone Battle Pack from 2007. On the Battle Droid side of things, we're getting two regular Battle Droids, kind of boring, but two regular Battle Droids, and then three Super Battle Droids finally making their return for 2024 after, I think, a nine-year absence. It's been a long time. The builds on the Droid side of things, though, should be a Stap Speeder and a Tri Droid, so some interesting Battle Pack builds here, and this one is two in one for $30 and 215 pieces. And if Lego's going to do big battle packs, I think this is the way they should be done. The file first battle pack was just missing those extra figures, but this one brings in the three extra super battle droids. And I think that's going to be excellent. Now set 75374 is supposed to be the big ship from the skeleton crew. It's going to be $130 with 1,325 pieces. And I loosely remember some leaks about this show, but there's supposed to be like one main adult character and I think four children. So chances are we will end up getting all five of those characters as the minifigs in that set. And then the last January 1st set is probably the most disappointing with set 75384, the Crimson Firehawk for $50 with 136 pieces. This one is a four plus or junior set, so the price per piece should not throw you off there, but it's supposed to include Nubs, who is definitely missing from the Jedi Temple set that we had in summer of 2023, Nash Durango and RJ83. So three minifigs plus the Crimson Firehawk and inside the Crimson Firehawk, there's supposed to be a speeder bike that you can place within the ship and also a small market booth included in the build as well so it's not just the ship it's the ship and a small market booth kind of an interesting addition to it now the march 1st sets are looking to be really heavily slanted towards the original trilogy with set number 75375 midi scale continues on with the millennium falcon and this one is actually a remake of a midi scale that we have already had which makes me actually really excited to see what that looks like because it's the first midi scale set that we will have a remake of of course the only real other option for that would have been the Star Destroyer, but this one comes in at $80 with 921 pieces, and that is in comparison to the 356 pieces of the 2009 set, so this one should be incredibly more detailed and hopefully a little bit bigger. 75376, MIDI scale, Tantive 4, $70, 654 pieces. This is definitely an exciting one that I think will pair really nicely with the Super Star Destroyer. The next March 1st set, I would assume, is from the Ahsoka show, but we don't know. It's set 75377, and it is a complete unknown. That's all it is, so I think it could maybe be a set with Thrawn. I'm still maybe leaning towards Thrawn coming in, Thrawn's Star Destroyer in the summer of 2024, but if Thrawn is going to come in a smaller set, and this is just a complete guess, that's the one that I would guess he would be in, because otherwise there's not a lot of other options in the first half of the year. Set 75379 is kind of a boring one. It's supposed to be a buildable R2-D2, not quite as big as the UCS one, more in line with what we see with like the Porg and BB-8 for $100 and 1,050 pieces. And I want to say it was partially rumored that it might include a C-3PO build as well, so it could be a pretty small R2-D2 build alongside a C-3PO build, but I'm pretty wishy-washy on that. I don't know a lot about that. That's just kind of some of the words that I've seen thrown out there. Now, next up, set 75387, another Tantive set, this one being the boarding diorama for $55 with 502 pieces. It's supposed to include two Stormtroopers, two Rebel Fleet Troopers, and a Darth Vader. This seems like it's going to be a killer set. It's a set that's long overdue. It's an obvious concept that LEGO needed to tackle after making the Dark Trooper set. I do wish it was as cheap as the Dark Trooper set coming in at 30 and then they of course raised the price to 
$55, but $55 doesn't seem awful for it being a full-on diorama set. Now on April 2nd, we're actually getting not a set, but a book, the updated LEGO Star Wars Visual Dictionary, and it will be $25 and include one minifigure. We don't know what minifigure it will be. It would kind of be cool, I guess, if it was Thrawn, but probably not. On to May 1st, we start with the 40686 May 4th promo. Again, it's something we just unfortunately don't know anything about, but I hope they bring back minifigs again. The Death Star should have had a minifig last year. The Lars Kitchen the year before had a minifig, and I'm praying that in 2024 we will get a minifigure again. With set 75378 on May 1st, we're going to see Grogu's Escape. This one's supposed to be $30, and we can totally expect the speeder bike with sidecar build in this set with Keller and Beck and a Grogu minifigure. As far as other characters in the set, it's a complete unknown right now. The only things we can guarantee are definitely Keller and Beck and Grogu, but yeah, we just don't know anything else about this one at this time. Now, moving on to 75380, the Moss Espa Padres Diorama for $70, 718 pieces. It kind of saddens me that this one probably won't include minifigs. It's probably going to be a micro scale version of the Padres Diorama. Like, that just makes the most sense to me. Now, I'm a bit disappointed because I realized that 75381, the buildable Droidica, that's going to be $60, is probably not going to include a minifigure version of the Droidica. It's probably going to be more similar to the Probe Droid buildable character, where it still has that UCS style display plaque, but it didn't include a miniature version of the Probe Droid. So I was looking forward to a new minifigurized version of a Droidica, but it doesn't seem like that should be happening here. But still, for $60, I am really excited about this Droidica. It's probably the set outside of like the potential for a Thrawn and certainly the clone battle pack if they don't have the helmet warts that I'm the most excited for in 2024 so far. Now, the final May 1st set is set 75382, the UCS set. That's supposed to be the TIE Interceptor for $240. And while there's no concrete rumors on what the figures are, I am very hopeful that we will see Moff Gideon from Season 3 as we see TIE Interceptors with Moff Gideon in The Mandalorian. And it would just make all the sense in the world to me for LEGO to put that type of character that's like really exciting into that set since we didn't get him in the other TIE Interceptor set. Now, there's a ton of other sets that have actually been leaked to be coming out next year that we just don't know the release date of, but I'm guessing since it's so many and since we just went through all the sets that are supposed to be January, March, May, that they're probably summer sets with these next upcoming set numbers. We have 75373, 75383, 85, 86, 88, and 89. It just seems to me like those should be August 1st sets. There's six sets there, and it just doesn't make sense to me that there would be six more sets coming in the first half of the year. One of them could potentially be the UCS Jabba's Sail Barge that should be coming out in late 2024 because it already leaked in 2023. LEGO is holding some sort of survey, I believe, on a third-party website, and a ton of random LEGO sets for the upcoming year ended up leaking with the UCS Jabba's Sail Barge being one of them. We just don't know exactly what the price range will be, but if you do enough Googling, you might be able to find the picture out there on the internet. I just can't show it on the screen right now, but it does exist and should be coming at some point in 2024. So I think I got it all there for you guys. As of mid-September, that is everything we know about LEGO Star Wars in 2024. Should be a pretty decent year from what we can tell, and of course, there's a lot to learn about the summer upcoming, so if you guys are excited, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss information on summer 2024 sets. I can't believe I'm even saying that it's barely past summer 2023. <laughs>